everyone, my name's Miranda, and today is a very, very exciting day because the first official Paper Towns clip debuted at the MTV Movie Awards blue carpet. And as you know, this is one of my most anticipated movies, so I can't wait to see the first clip from it. I specifically did not watch the clip on the blue, black, Whatever color the red carpet was, I didn't watch the trailer when they debuted it because I wanted to have my first reaction on camera for all of you to hopefully be entertained if it sucks or if I do a cartwheel of joy, which please call someone if I do a cartwheel because it probably won't end well. What I've heard on Tumblr is that this is a clip from one of the scenes from Margo and Q's night together when they go out pranking people and it's going to be one of the pranks and I'm really excited to see it and hopefully it's good. I can't wait any longer so let's watch it. Well, that is a weird commercial. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do that so bad. Well, that was short. I want more! Way! So for those of you who have not read the book, that is a fun little scene we like to call Chuck's Eyebrow, which basically the whole night of Margo and Q together is them pranking people that have wronged Margo, and then at the end of the night she's like, hey, we're gonna prank someone now who's wronged you, so pick anyone. And Q picks Chuck, and then Margo comes up with the brilliant plan to rip his eyebrow off, so he only have one, and then there's a whole debacle of do you just rip the other one off, or do you pencil in the one that's missing? It's this whole philosophical thing that Q turns it into, but I mean, it's really funny. I think it captured so far from what I saw in that 15 second clip what the feel of the movie is. I never realized how much it's like looking for Alaska and like the feeling of the pranks. Like obviously two way different feels in the books but looking for Alaska is a lot about pranks too. I just the more I see this movie the more I fall in love with Cara Delevingne or Cara Delvenye. I don't know what's the actual proper pronunciation for it and I probably will never know unless I meet her and get to ask her someday myself but I'm so impressed with her as Margot because just Based on looks alone, when they first cast her, I was like, that is the perfect Margot. She looks exactly like what I would have thought. And then from what I knew about Cara Delevingne, Delvigne, whatever, in the, like, kind of entertainment industry, I knew she had kind of a Margot-esque personality. Like, she was very eccentric, engaging, and kind of just lived her life the way she wanted to and was 100% herself with everything. And that's how people describe her. So I'm really happy that they cast her as Margot and I'm really happy to see she really seems to be seeing the character because that's a big thing like I said if you get Margot wrong your whole movie's gonna fall apart so I'm very excited she just she just seems to get her so much and I can't stop raving about it because I'm so so happy that not only is she cast in this movie but that she's perfect in this movie because I love Kara so so much so to see her finally kind of being recognized to a wider audience is really, really cool. And I gotta say, she did the little ninja slide across the car move that Channing Tatum did in 21 Jump Street, and I have always wanted to try that so, so much, but I know that it's going to end so, so badly, so I promise you if I ever do try it, I will film it because I'm telling you right now, it's gonna end up with someone on the floor. I don't know who, if someone is going to trip over something, it's probably, probably going to be me because I will never look as badass as Channing Tatum and Cara Delevingne. Obviously, I feel like that scene has to happen pretty early on in the movie, but like I said, it is towards the later part of Q's Night with Margot, if they're keeping it like the books was. And I just think that this so far from what we've seen in the trailers and how the cast interacts with each other, how John Green describes it, and now in this clip, I feel like everyone kind of captured the spirit of this movie so far. I mean, the tone of the book I think changes a lot when they actually go to start looking for Margot and they kind of learn their lessons and grow up along the way. I think that's going to be a very different tone and also a very important message to kind of nail because that's what really makes the book for me is realizing this whole journey of who Margot really is, that she's not someone special, she's not a miracle, she's just a girl, and that's a great thing, I think, for me. That's one of my favorite takeaways from the book, is realizing that people aren't more than people. You can't make them up to be gods or anything. So I'm hoping, and I'm thinking, I mean, maybe it's me being an optimistic, but I'm never an optimistic. So I'm thinking that because John Green is so involved with this, because people involved really seem to love and adore the movie and the story, I think that they're going to capture that tone, but 
we still haven't seen any kind of proof of that. I just, I'm putting my faith in it, but from what I've seen so far in the beginning of the movie, they're definitely capturing that kind of fun YOLO mentality of the first part of the book when Margot and Q go on their epic adventures and become ninjas. Just the more I see, I cannot wait to see this movie. It's definitely my most anticipated movie of the year, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be better than Fallen Stars because Fallen Stars was good, but it's just, it had kind of obviously that sadness weight to it because it was about two kids with cancer so I'm hoping this movie will be a lot more funner a lot more lighthearted but then also give you that strong message at the end about not idolizing people as more than they really are and oh my gosh I could keep talking about this movie for like five more hours I'm just so excited about it all I haven't really gotten a great look at all the other characters besides Margot and Q but I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna do fine just as they are because everyone really seems to get the whole message of this movie and that's really really important that's what happened with Fault in Our Stars and I feel like everyone was kind of on point with their character in Fault in Our Stars so if you have seen the clip or anything basically related to Paper Towns please feel free to leave your thoughts about the movie down below if you think it's going to be good or not. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below to my channel to be told when I make more videos right down there. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!